something about weather like this. Zero weather or thereabouts. <laughs> First, the civil ceremony in the throne room of the royal palace in Brussels. Here, King Baudouin of the Belgians and Donna Fabiola de Mora e Aragon took their places at a white marble table. Royal witnesses included Britain's Princess Margaret. Queen Juliana of the Netherlands and Queen Elizabeth of the Belgians, the King's grandmother. King Leopold, Prince Albert, Prince Jean, and Princess Josephine Charlotte of Luxembourg. The civil wedding was followed by a religious ceremony. The king and his Spanish bride now left to drive to the cathedral. It was a grey day in Brussels, but the troops and the pageantry lent colour to the scene as crowds in the street cheered bride and groom on their way. A brief pause on the steps of the ancient cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudul. The king, very attentive, the affection of his bride clear to see. Then the procession to the altar, past a great congregation of royalty, ex-royalty, princes and nobles from all Europe. This was a great moment for Belgium itself. At last, after 25 years, a queen took her place beside the King of the Belgians before God and the Holy Church. The King places the ring on his bride's finger, the climax of the wedding ceremony, which was conducted by Cardinal Van Roy. After mass had been said, King Baudouin and his queen left to return to the palace. Loyal Belgians left no doubt about their feelings. And when the king and his bride appeared on the balcony, all could see how strong was the bond of affection between them. They made no effort to conceal their joy. On the contrary, they were completely self-possessed, completely natural. Together, they certainly gave the crowd down below good cause to cheer and cheer again. Yeah!